Hey guys, what's up? Zooch here. Going to record my first Eternal Constructed video today. I'm super excited, especially by this deck in particular. So for those who followed me in other games, you know I have a penchant for playing sort of silly decks, uh, both in tournaments and in my recorded videos. I'll do solid decks uh, a lot of the times as well, but I also like to meme hard if I can. Today is one of those days. I have been doing really well with this deck. I went from like the low 800s to all the way up to like 250 or something. Now I think I'm back down to like uh, like 425. Oh. Um, but overall it's been doing pretty solid. I This is what I'm calling, I'm calling it just Riders in my deck list, but I think I'm going to call it Xenon Riders. Uh, here we go. So it is uh, a deck that is designed to play Witching Hour. I started with four Witching Hours, and that turned out to be a little too much. I also was playing a few more Last Words. This card is so good, uh, but at the end of the day, it does cost nine mana. I really like the idea behind the deck. So we're, we're playing basically a control deck that spends a lot of time developing up mana. So we're playing 26 sigils on top of the 10 like sigil focused cards in our main deck. So that's 36 sources of mana. We're actually playing slightly more than 75 cards. I think it's 77 or 78. I I have a real issue, like a real problem with cutting cards sometimes. And well, frankly, if I'm just going to play a deck for fun, I'm not going to give a shit. So I, I'm just playing them. Um, and then we've got a bunch of, I don't know, removal spells, and then uh, some uh, uh, card draw, like Temple Scribe and Scheme, and then some heavy hitters with Sandstorm Titan, Steward of the Past, and Mystic Ascendant. And then we've also got some f fun cards like Subvert and Sabotage to fuck up what our opponent's doing. Both of these cards have been incredible for me. I, I kind of want to go up to more, but I, 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 I am hesitant to do so. Um... And they actually like pave the way for a lot of your stuff really well, so it's been surprisingly, surprisingly good. Decay's also been a solid card in the metagame right now. I, I kind of want to go up to three, but sometimes it just doesn't do anything. So let's go ahead and jump in a game and see what happens. All right, we're really looking for a bunch of uh, early game land fetching cards none of which are here and just two lands is way too few this deck is very mana hungry like you really have a threshold of like uh four mana that you need to hit pretty early on this would be a great if my opponent's playing a slow deck this is going to be great if my opponent's playing like Rakano, uh oh this is not gonna be good let's see Uh, yeah, we're, we're probably in a little bit of trouble here. This is not a, the greatest, like, super fast aggro deck. Oh, he had nothing. Alright. Second the last word is probably not what we wanted to see. Just torch my face. Well, we're going to go ahead and subvert him our, our turn. I, I would assume that we're not going to get anything good, but... Maybe we'll get a torch, who knows. Ooh, that'd be good. I gotta think now, what do I want to do? Like, do I want to subvert? He definitely only has some gas in his hand. Because he didn't play a third sigil. So I guess I could do that, subvert, play whatever I get from him next turn, play this uh, depleted sigil, and then run this out on the following turn. So let's just do this. Come on, Champion of Chaos. <laughs> yes, good. I wish I had gotten a three drop though, so you couldn't play it. Golly. I wish I could play this next turn. I, I really hope I draw a land. I hope I draw nothing but lands for the rest of the game. 
sigils, sigils. Ew. If he attacks with everything, what do I do? If he attacks with just this, what do I do? All right, he almost certainly has rapid shot, right? Can I afford to not block? No, I just die in that case. So I block here because if he rapid shots here, then uh, I don't take a bunch of trample damage. Is that right? So I block here and he rapid shots. I go to two, and then I would go to one on my turn. That seems silly. I think I just have to hope that he just has Torch instead. Okay, good. Man, if I were him, I would have just torched my face. All right, perfect. Please have something I can take. Yes! We're doing it! <laughs> We're doing it. Uh-oh. That's not good. Yeah, I really wish I would gotten that Champion of Cunning instead of the... Uh, well, no, it would have been a shitty 3-3. Three, three. No, it would have been a 4-4. Four, four. We're in... Oh, my God, he didn't even attack. Oh, my gosh, please get something. Ah. Do I attack here? I think I do. Because then he has to block here. Because I can't, he can't let me keep gaining three life. Yeah. Oh, wow. Umbran Reaper is not good. That's not good. That's not good. Whew. That's not good at all. Oh, we might be dead. You might be dead. Dagger. So close. So close. Because we could have gotten this out pretty soon. Ah! Maybe I shouldn't have attacked there. It felt right, though. It felt right. But yeah, if I don't attack, then what, what does he do? He can't attack me at that point. I didn't expect an Umber Reaper. Oh well. This looks great. Keep this bad boy. Can't cast this quite yet, but we've got some early interaction, so. Oh, perfect. I recently changed up my emotes. Pretty excited about that. Flippy flop. Alright. Okie dokie. Oh, this, if he's playing a Kalos deck, this is going to blow him out. Uh, we're not going to trade because we want to get this guy down first, so let's go ahead and scheme. He has something. Uh... Probably just another steward of the past. It seems like it's probably the best card possible against this deck. <laughs> no! Oh, why would he get that one? Wouldn't drawing a card be just substantially better in every scenario? I'll let him trade now if he wants. Alright. Well, you don't get to draw a card. That seems like an odd block. I'm not going to play this out. I think he's going to madness my guy. Uh, and I'm just going to decay this in response to his madness. Basically... Wastes his uh, his spell. Oh wow, that sucks. I wish I had done that now. 
And why does he get this? When one of the other units dies, wouldn't this not let it die? Oh, there's silence that doesn't stop them from dying. Well, I feel foolish. I didn't expect a scrap tank, but maybe I should have. Maybe I should have just done it right then. What can you do? Maybe he'll trade here? Okay. I may have an answer to my scorpion loss, but at least I block it for a turn. Suffocate. Curses. I don't know why he did that pre-combat. Alright. Oh, man, we could have suffocated his stupid guy. How dumb of us. Well, hopefully he does not have an answer for this thing. Yet another scrap tank. Combust? No, okay. Start turn. Well, fortunately I can suffocate this guy. But at the end of the day, I don't know as if anything would have changed. Okay, nine, nine. Holy smokes. Oh, jeez. Well, it looks like we're taking nine for the foreseeable future. And I can't even attack to kill this thing. Not what I wanted. If I attack, I just end up taking more damage, so I think I just have to sit back. I think it's a moot point, but we'll see. Ah, I'm going to lose this game too. Well, that'll do it. I got to kill it now before he, well, I guess I'm dead anyway. I don't know if that misplay cost me the game or not. I was trying to get him to use out his madness. Um, you know, but I guess I should have done it in case he had bait anyway. So, yeah. Hi, buddy. Well, hi, buddy. Yeah. We're recording a video. Hello, friend. My my friend just left me. There she is. I'm going to keep this hand. We've got stuff to do, and we've got to sabotage my guy, so. I can wait till turn two to, to sabotage, I think. Ah! Wish I had gotten that. Alright, well, hopefully he has something. Alright. What a dagger. What an absolute dagger. If we don't win this matchup, I'll be sorely disappointed. This is probably one of our good matchups, I'd like to think. I'd like to save this for a Sarath, because this is going to come down and hold the fort for just about everything else. This is going to have to take out a, I don't know, one of his big guys. That's really solid. And this is nice, because he doesn't have a whole lot of ways to get through this curve. Like, it doesn't die to Vanquish. He has, like, harsh rules, and that's about it. I mean, he could martial Iron Corn here, but... Yeah, it kind of feels like he's waiting on harsh rule. I'm just going to hang back and feel like we win the long game real easily. Man, getting boned on that... That whiff on that Sabotage after he cast his card was brutal. 
Valkyrie Enforcer. Okay. Another Puma. Uh, could play this, and then it sort of stops him from attacking with this guy. Or it forces him to have another guy to play out. I could also probably... I feel like he has Scorpion Wasp in his hand. It's pausing a little at the end of my turn. All right. He's almost certainly got Scorpion Wasp, right? If I do this, I get to pick out any trick he might have potentially. So let's do that right now. Don't be a land, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, I'm not going to be playing this, I don't think. Maybe I should, in case he has, like, uh, Oric Rune Hammer or something like that. Protect my guy. Now let's swing and a miss again. Ooh, got the Great Parliament this time. Take that. Uh, suffocate this thing. And I know he doesn't have a harsh rule, so probably going to drop this other Puma. I'm going to save the land in case I draw a uh, Mystic. So, have something to start chaining draws with. That's no fun. That's no fun. If I attack with everything, he block. He kills this guy, and I kill this guy, but I still have my two 3-3s. Three that seems fine. Or that, either way. That's fine. I am going to play out this land because uh, I, if I get a last word, I want to be able to play it. Sure. Uh, no, I, I think I need to save this for a Mystic. I have Scorpion Wasp. I'm not going to beat him down for three points a turn. And he knows I have Scorpion Wasp, but like it's a nice little Mexican standoff we've got going here. This this has to take care of like. A Mystic or a Martial Iron Thorn or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So my Witching Hours. There we go. Oh. He drew a Find the Way. That was really good. They have so few ways to deal with this card. We'll just hang out. No reason to let him get my guy. If he has a great parliament, that would be probably one of the more annoying cards he could have. He does not. There's a slight. He's a pause. So he has he has desert marshal, or uh, or like yeah. There we go. All right, kill that guy then. And I'm gonna play this out. Like if he partials, he has to have a follow up creature or he dies. No reason not to play this out. Uh, and I'm gonna keep these open forever. And he's sort of like on have a harsh or bust plan here. All right. No. Is it worth it to play this and just start attacking him? Probably not. Well, let's see what he has. Anything? Vanquish. I 
We could do this now to make it so that if he ever harsh rules, I just need to like draw a removal spell to kill a guy or something. Yeah, I kind of like that. Like, I don't think we're going to need... He's not going to be able to deal with two blockers this turn, so I've got like a one-turn window. And it was a nice convenient amount of mana that I had. Oh, perfect. All right, let's hit this thing. He's got another Desert Marshal. I'll throw these out there. Like, uh, at least start pressuring them. What's, what, what could he have? Desert Marshal, Scorpion Wasp. And I've got Wasps if he, if he plans to, like, playing out two Marshals or something and attacking back into me. And he knows I have these Wasps, too. All right, let's see what he's got. All right. Well, he knows I have this. So. Playing, I gotta play the one without the influence because he he should know that that one exists. Like I took it from him. Yeah. Yes. All right. We're one and two, is that right? <gasps> get in here, get in here. All right, maybe I'll do two more. Hopefully get a winning record. Oh, this is hands the super keeper. I don't, I would, if I'm on the play, it's even better. But uh, yeah, because we're on the draw, it's a really slow hand. If it's against a control deck, then that'll be great. Otherwise, we're in trouble. I miss all the Nyctotraxian decks. What happened to those? This had a great matchup against those guys. All right. So we're going to get to be able to play this, get our third land, play this guy on turn four. Ah, oh, man. That was ideal. Let's kill that immediately. There's something to be said for waiting in case he had like a... Uh, well, it's too bad he didn't play another one. But In case he had uh, like a trick further down the line. But that, caught, that requires me to take like six damage and let him get three war cries. And I don't like that. Ew. We're going to play out the Steward of the Past first, because it stops this guy, like 100%. Uh, but on the other hand, if he has Hammer, then this stops both of them. So uh, I want to play this. If he has Vanquish, like the fact that we drew a second one makes me think it's fine to play this now. This stops a lot more of his things that he could be doing. No Vanquish. Well, he's not immediately killing my guy, so it feels pretty good. Crown Watch Calvary, sure. Okay. I want to play the Stuart of... Stuart. I want to play the Steward of the Past, and Steward's going to block this guy if he attacks. So that if he has, like, a pump spell... Uh, this guy dies. I could also kill this thing and get in. I don't love that. I do get to start attacking though. I'm gonna. I really want to save this guy for a uh, like a one of his dudes with quick draw because I, I, this deck has sort of a harder time with that. So maybe I should have. Maybe I should have attacked anyway. I mean, I should have attacked before I, I don't know, I probably should have just suffocated this thing. Attack 
collected that. What could he possibly have? He could have... He wouldn't have double torch because he'd just double torch this. So it may it's some combination of finest hour and something else. If it's finest hour and like the double strike card, and that's getting three cards out of his hand for one of mine, I, that's fine with me. Or if it's like two finest hours, like again, I do not care. All right. Sort of a Karya that has been. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm done. Well, whatever. I attack. He has a double block. Alright, well, kill his rune hammer. Uh, it's probably a pretty egregious misplay on my part. Especially since I could have just suffocated this guy like two turns earlier. Yeah, it's sort of annoying. Okay. Eh, no blocks. Let's go ahead and suffocate this thing and, and attack. So I'm going to probably Death Strike something at the end of his turn uh, so I can just kill it. Because like I'm, I'm going to trade here if I'm able. Sure. Do I do it now? What do I do? I can wait. I can wait. So I'm going to play this one out. So I can cast this other final way. I'm keeping this death strike open. Is he attacking here? He is not. Okay, that seems good for me. So I'm not going to play this guy out. I want to keep both of these open in case he plays another thing on this. Like another uh, another hammer of might. Yeah. Bingo. Got ya. Oh, that's pretty good. Hua. All right. So even if he plays a giant life linker, we still get to kill him. Ooh. Interesting. Well, presumably he's dead. <laughs> okay. Hi, pup. All right, puppy. All right, buddy. Is he just gonna like not pass a turn? All right. Well, so be it. Give him a look. give him one of these. Thanks for the game. That's super disrespectful. Uh, 
Oh, I'm not hiding his name, so if he wants to act like this, then so be it. All right. All right. Or two and two. Let's try to get one more game win. All right. Let's go into game five. We'll call it our last game. All right. Reaper Zix. I really want to keep this hand, but I can't do that. I need a little more interaction or stuff to do. I don't think we've drawn a find the way in our opening hand once. God, please have a bunch of shit. Please have a bunch of shit in your hand. If we if if he doesn't, we're in a lot of trouble. We're gonna look like a real idiot here. Ah. Please, please don't whiff. Don't whiff. One time, don't whiff. All right, we gotta wait a few turns now. The cards really doesn't matter, but ugh! Oh my god! I'll go get a time sigil. Ah, he drew something. So we knew that wasn't in his hand, so he could only have one other card that could possibly be uh, uh, sabotageable. So I'm not going to bother. I think this is this might end up being a dead card now. It's a real shame that he dodged uh, two of these. Like, I would have loved to have sniped one of these out of his hand. Now there's two cards that he could have. Oh, so someone just followed me. <laughs> um, man, he could. So if one of those two cards or this upcoming draw step is a vanquish, I'll feel really silly. But I'm gonna drop this guy like this. Shola. I'd like to just get this guy out, I think. If he had a Vanquish, he'd have just done it. So he doesn't have one of those. I'm worried about uh, like a torch or a uh, like a finest tower. Like if I play this, I give him one more turn to do like find one of those. And I really want to get something with this. Well, let's see if he has anything. Yeah, he has something. He's got something. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they have to take this harsh rule, though. So if I suffocate this, I can attack with these two guys? Because then if he double blocks anything... Uh, I'll be able to kill it. In fact, I should probably just do that right away so that I can also attack with this guy. So he's got a torch in his hand, that's it. That's one of the reasons I like Sabotage so much. You get information that you otherwise would not get. So he could like torch this thing, but like who cares? 
still trading it. I mean, that whole interaction, I guess, cost us three cards and him three cards, so who cares? Now we've got this giant guy and he has nothing. Like, we know that's not a spell. It could be a creature, but it's probably not. Oh, shit. That's what he drew. That's pretty good. Oof. That's going to be good. Especially if it gets I I Ikaria. Well, we can just trade, I guess. But if he gets a weapon, we get to decay it, which is kind of nice. He's probably getting an Auric Rune Hammer, if I had to guess. Which this decay will take care of. Whoop. Oh! to save this now yeah <laughs> and we did it right when we got our thing perfect <laughs> okay what a great what a great video all right uh <laughs> thanks for watching you guys hope you found this entertaining i um i'll do some more ranked videos as well look we got into the 400s with this uh, again, I'll post the deck list in the uh, description below if you want to check it out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and, just, I don't know, follow me on Twitch and stuff, Twitter. All right, thanks.